Hello guys, I'm a bit late to the pie with this one, but I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on the recent Forge reveal video that 343 dropped the other day, seemingly out of nowhere. This video will contain some of my thoughts and opinions, and also what we can expect from Forge when it's finally launched. First of all, we've had some really great news about Forge coming to Infinite as part of the winter update. So community manager Sketch tweeted the other day that Forge will not be releasing as a beta that will be live for a few days or weeks. Instead, it will launch in a beta-like state and be a permanent fixture within the game. This makes me think of how 343 launched Infinite's multiplayer in November last year. It was labelled as a beta, but it was basically a full release, so some really good news to begin with there. So moving on to the video itself, Unishek, the senior community manager, sat down with Michael and Cliff from the Forge team at 343 Industries to showcase the current Forge build and outlined what sort of things we can expect when Forge does release. I won't go through literally everything, but there are a few things that caught my eye, particularly the way that we can manipulate objects now by size, by changing their width, height, depth, and also their texture and colors, which I think is super cool. You can also now save an item or a collection of items to share with friends or other Forge creators in what's known as a prefab. So think of a prefab as like a house or a base or some other complex structure that you can save individually and you can then share that with your friends or other creators to use in their maps. So it's kind of like a template to work from, which I think is really cool and not something we've seen before in Forge. Next up, we had a brief look at the menu items and the sort of tools that we'll be able to use. Now, 343 said that a lot of these tools are inspired by internal 343 developer tooling, which I think is really cool anyway, but there was actually a brief moment where they had a menu item selected and the menu item actually had a description that said the following. Block out objects used to create MP map layouts used by internal 343 designers in their workflow, which means the tools we have will be really advanced and they really are based on internal tooling at 343, which I think is really cool and means we'll be able to do some really advanced things with them. We then had a quick look at a new map called Curfew, which was made by a Forge Council member. The map looked great and had so much detail to it, it really did seem like it was an official developer made map and not something made in Forge. If this is what we can expect player made maps to look like, then we should expect to have some really cool creations within the community. At the moment, my opinion is that players should be tasked with making maps for multiplayer and 343 should focus on what they can do, like bug fixes and adding new features to the fundamentals of the game. I feel as though Infinite will be so advanced in its Forge capabilities that 343 should focus on what they can do and they should let the community make the maps that will land in multiplayer and custom games. Based on all these tools that we'll be able to use in Forge, I think it will mean that we can make some really advanced maps and game modes and I think hopefully it will bring back some of the population that's been lost on Infinite over the past year. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Forge is set to debut on the 8th of November this year as part of the winter update, so it is coming soon. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.